Welcome back to Gapy's Garden. We're here in the insulated garden shed where I've got all of my container figs for the winter. I decided to bring them in here because we had some really cold temperatures in December. It got down to five and a half degrees Fahrenheit, which is too cold for figs. They surely would have died if I had left them outside. So I was able to get them all to fit in here. We put a table in here and we were able to fit a lot more than we did last year. And there's even some room for more. And I'll be starting some more fig cuttings here in the coming weeks. I'll be sure to share those with you when the time comes. In this video, I wanted to share with you some footage that I took in early November of the fig trees that I have that produce some fruit but just never had time to ripen. I did move a few of the figs into the greenhouse in hopes that it would help them ripen a little bit quicker. That was about a month ago and it seemed to work pretty well for a few varieties, but there's a few that still have figs on them that just did not ripen in time. The first one here is the Figo Preto. We've got one fig here that is just starting to turn color, but it's still pretty rock hard. We've got a couple more branches over here with figs on them, but these are just not going to ripen in time. Now here we have JFE Black Madeira, and this is another one that is known to be a late season variety. We've got three very green figs on here and one that just started changing color, but it is still pretty rock hard, so that is definitely not going to ripen this year. It shouldn't be any surprise that none of my three in-ground figs got any ripe fruit this year. This is the, the Desert King, which died all the way back to the ground over winter. It does have several main crop figs, but those are not likely to ripen, even if we had a, a longer season, because this requires the the fig wasp to pollinate to get any um, production on the main crop. So that one was a bust this year, but I am gonna protect my figs over this winter, so hopefully it won't die back again. Now the, the wood here is still pretty green, so it's not lignified, so I don't think it would survive um, this winter without some protection. Now here we have the Olympian, and it looks like this one is starting to drop some leaves. They're starting to yellow. But this one did have several figs on it that did not ripen, and it does look like some of them are starting to, to drop, and these are still pretty hard, so they are not going to ripen this year. Now the last in-ground fig is the Laterula, and this one started setting fruit super, super late, like just in the last month, so the, the figs on it are super tiny and had no chance at all at ripening this season and even in a good season it wouldn't have ripened so hopefully they start setting fruit earlier next year so we could get some harvest and if it doesn't i'm gonna take this tree out and put something else in here to replace it now i did move several of the figs up on the back deck and i'm still trying to decide if i'm going to leave them up here against the house for the winter or move them into the shed like I normally do. I'm starting to run out of room in there because I've gotten quite a few more figs this year. But this one is the white Madeira and it does still have two figs left on it that are not gonna ripen. But we did manage to get a few to ripen this year so it wasn't a total failure. Now the only other fig that I have that got fruit that did not ripen is this dwarf or compact Stella variety. It did have two fruits, but they ended up dropping before they ripened, and I don't think they would have ripened in time had they not dropped. So that is another one that did not make it. It is a pretty young tree, so I'm hoping next year it might produce some ripe fruit for us. And then we've got all of our first year figs up here. Obviously none of these produced any fruit at least none that ripened. So I'm not going to go over all these because it's it's highly unlikely a fig tree is going to get fruit in its first year. So I'm hoping next year we'll get some fruits off of some of these. So stay tuned for next season and I'll give you an update on how all of our new fig trees are, are doing. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.